choose to stick around and if you guys are my usual returning viewers thank you so much for choosing to watch one of my videos again today I have been to Sheen well I haven't been to Sheen I've ordered from Sheen and I'm really excited actually because I feel like I haven't done an order with Sheen for such a long time so I'm very excited to show you the bits that I did get today and I've also popped in two or three bits that I have ordered from Timu just quickly before I get into today's haul, I do quickly want to explain about my last Timu video because so okay, what happened was the last video that I done it was actually a collaboration. So they reached out to me, asked me to do a paid collaboration, which I was very excited about, as you guys can imagine. I've done a lot of collaborations in the past, but none as big as this, um, and none that have paid as much as this one did. So I was very excited to do it done the video, sort of done everything that they asked me to sort of do and say. Um, but I do feel like I owe you guys an apology on their behalf because a lot of you have had issues with the discount code. Um, but what they failed to tell me is that the discount code was for first time app users. So if you have downloaded the app before, you cannot use the discount code. Um, and then a few people told me that they've then decided to download the app on their partner's phone which is another way of you guys being able to use the discount code and take advantage and then they were still unable to use the discount code so I went back to team you messaged them told them about you know all of the stuff that you guys were bringing forward and then they decided to tell me that the um, discount code would only work for the first hour of you downloading the app as you guys can imagine, I was a little bit frustrated by that and I kind of, you know, emailed them back saying, you know, I was very unhappy that this wasn't explained to me at the beginning of the collaboration and I should have been able to deliver the correct information to you guys on my video. So all I can do, as I say, is just apologise massively on Team News behalf for not really giving me the correct information to share with you guys. However, they have been in touch with me again and they have asked me to do a second collaboration because they loved my last video and obviously I'm very excited to work with them again and you know it's just something that I don't really want to pass on just because they've made that little mistake if that makes sense and obviously again it's another paid partnership and it's just a great opportunity for me so I'm really really excited to be able to work with them for a second time which is absolutely brilliant so I have made two orders with them this time so there will be two big team U hauls for you guys to see in the next coming weeks and I promise this time around I will make sure that I work with them to give you guys the correct information um, but like I say I think in regards to the discount code if you have already downloaded the app I think the only way you can get around it is to do it on a different device with a different phone number different email address that's sort of the only way that you could do it so if you've got a parent that hasn't downloaded it before maybe you can do it using their information or a partner because then that way at least you guys can take advantage of my discount code and it will save you guys a little bit of money so again i really do apologize on team use behalf for the missed kind of information there um i've had a really really busy morning today actually i've just been non-stop as you guys can probably see as well by the state of me today i haven't even had time to pop any makeup on or anything i've just been cleaning the house from top to bottom because someone is coming around today to finally assess the mold problem in this house some of you guys might have seen the video with the mold um that i put up it's got absolutely worse since then it's got like 50 times worse and it's now gone in two other rooms in the flat so it's just horrendous and I'm just really hoping today fingers crossed that they can find out the cause of it really and just kind of sort it out and fix it because it's just disgusting it looks disgusting there's literally just black mold all around this place and it's just driving me insane so yeah I've got that going on today I've also got to take Jessica to her school disco this afternoon so she's very excited about that we have to go as well so yeah she's really, really excited to go to her disco today um okay guys let me show you what i do have i think what i'm going to do is start with my team you stuff first just because i've got a lot more sheen stuff to show you than i do the 
teeny bits. Right, so I ordered Jessica a few bits that she asked me to get, um, but every time she kind of says, oh, has my order come yet? I keep saying, no, your order hasn't come yet. Because what I'm planning to do is just keep it back, hold it back until Easter and then pop it into her Easter bag. I feel like I've just left something. I know she has something else. Hold on a second, yeah. Yeah, I knew there was something else I was missing. Right, so I'm just going to show you the bits I've got from Team U. Starting with this, so she asked me to get this for her. She's really into her skincare at the moment. So it's just like a little headband that you wear to do your skincare and like sort of clean your face and everything. It's actually quite cute, I have to say. I think it's supposed to be like a snail. Really, really cute. It was really, really cheap. I can't remember the prices offhand, but what I will do is when I've done the video and I've edited it, I will pop up the prices in the corner somewhere for you guys to see but it's really really cute so she's really going to be happy that i managed to get that for her actually she also asked me for these glasses as well it's some kind of trending stuff i mean i need to keep her off of tiktok because this is where she gets most of her ideas and sees things that she wants on tiktok shop so she wanted these clear glasses they don't actually make you see i don't think they're more kind of like for just what's the word fashion really yeah i mean i've got them on now and they're just literally looking normal as they would they actually like scientist goggles i don't really know what she wants these for but apparently they're all the craze and she really really wants them so yeah got her those she's going to be over the moon that she's got them she's got them back in the bag how are you guys all as well actually i hope you guys are all okay i hope you're doing all right we're finally in march guys i feel like spring is finally approaching all we've had in london for the last couple of well, months actually it's just rain 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 it was pissing it down this morning like really really bad the sun's just started to make an appearance which is really really nice um so yeah i can't wait for spring actually it's my favorite season i just love when it gets lovely and warm in the morning and the sunshine and you can hear all of the birds um yeah i hope you guys all are okay also got this little straw topper which she wanted for her stanley cup little cute cloud really really nice got her that and then she did these gloves I mean, obviously i don't know what it is with her she just sees the most random things but i do have to say they are quite cute so they're like little cat paws really really cute let me try them on and see what they look like they do come in different colors but i think she wanted the nude color oh they are quite cute actually oh they are lovely meow oh they're so cute i actually love them and I think they're really cheap as well. Mind you, all of Team U stuff is cheap, I have to say. And then you get a piece of string here, which I think you can connect to this little loop so that you can just sort of have them on the string in case you lose them. It keeps them together. Onto this. So I've got this I think it's a really cool prime bottle for Jake. It's like a stress bottle, like the squeezy stress ones. And I thought, oh, this is so cool. All of the teenagers, they love the prime. They love to have all the prime stuff. I thought I'd actually get this for him, not to use as a stress ball as such but just for a little bit of decoration in his bedroom just to have something cool and quirky on his bedroom shelf so yeah that's the reason why i got that and i got it in the really nice stripy color which i believe is like the most popular flavor of the prime so yeah i've got him that which is going to go in his easter bag and then i also got in this which is going to be really really handy um jake is quite the bookworm he does love a book he has quite a lot of them actually and i thought oh this is just absolutely perfect because a lot of the time we have quite a long drive home sometimes 45 50 minutes it takes us to get home um, and he does like to read a book on the way home and most of the time it's winter it's dark and he has to have the back light on which kind of puts someone off when he's driving so i thought ah oh, this would be ideal so you use this clip um let's just pretend that's the book for a second clip it on the book and then obviously this is like the little light and it's got the little bendy stick as well so you can just sort of bend it to wherever you need it and it will just let him see the book in the dark and I just thought oh that's so ideal for him absolutely perfect and also we can use it in his bedroom as well he can hook it can you, actually you could even hook it onto your um bed frame if you wanted to and then just sort of hang it o hang it over um I can't speak today so yeah, he's gonna like that actually. I thought that was really, really good. The box is a bit squashed though, which is a bit annoying, but never mind. Oh, I can't get it back in the box now. Let's see if that works. Oh gosh. I oh, know, I hate when that happens. I can never get things back in the box. Let's try it that way. Oh, there we go. So yeah, I thought he's gonna love that. So handy, really, really handy. 
So yeah, he's going to have that in his box. Um, and then I have got, where are the bits that I've got? These here, which I want to show you because I have mentioned this before. So when the kids leave school, I am planning on doing like a little surprise kind of family gathering. So I'm going to do like a barbecue and have a few family members around and some friends for the kids just to kind of celebrate really their new journey is going into secondary school and then going into sixth form so i thought it'd be really nice to just get some nice decorations and decorate a little bit so i picked up some graduation bits which i thought was really really good so i got this cake topper which is class of 2024 which i thought was really really cute and again guys these bits were so inexpensive so i got those um also got this banner as well which i think says class of 2024 but i will show you guys i will do a video when i've sort of decorated everything and i've done all the kids um goodie bags and stuff like that got this as well which is another banner in black and this actually spells out the words we are proud of you which i just thought was so so lovely which is just going to look so lovely in the kitchen area above the sideboard because that's where i'm planning on doing all of the decoration but i just thought you know what it's something really really nice to do because i feel like i know it's quite big in america when you have like a graduation and they have a ceremony we don't really have anything like that here in london it's just something that this country never does and i feel like the kids just kind of leave school and nothing really happens there's no celebration or anything so i thought you know what it's a big year for mine too like i say one starting secondary and one is leaving school and starting sixth form so i thought why not celebrate it and just kind of you know give the kids something nice to kind of show them that we are proud of them so i'm really looking forward to doing it actually i've not told them yet so it is going to be a surprise and then i've got these each as well which again really really cheap i will stick the prices up for you guys to see i got them both a sash to wear which says class of 2024 but aren't they cute really really lovely so yeah i'm planning on letting them both wear these and just taking a really nice picture of them both yeah really really nice and then i also got a pack of balloons as well just for the decoration again sticking with the black and gold theme so you get some gold string you also get the balloons the clear ones with like the gold confetti in and then you've got some gold ones and then some black balloons as well so that's those okay let's go into yeah let's go into what's in here so i originally ordered two of these guys but one came completely smashed so that was a bit disappointing oh they're so cute look at those really really cute they're supposed to be little espresso cups but i originally got them for like if you're doing any cooking and you just need to like tip stuff in or if you're doing like a nice little mini apple crumble you're having your dinner party how nice would this look on the side of your plate with like a little bit of cream in or some custard i just thought oh that'd be so nice or you can just leave it around your kitchen for some decoration i love the little wooden lid as well it is glass um but yeah really really cheap for those as well a bit gutted that i now only have one so i do need to make another order and get a another one sent to me oh i've got these new phone cases which i'm going to give jake as some little birthday presents i like to get little knickknacks as well as like main presents as well so i've got him two different colors this is actually a really nice shade it's like a forest greeny kind of teal color so yeah i've got him that one it's always nice to change your phone cases i think i love to change mine i do it at christmas i do it at easter i'm always changing mine and then i've got in this really nice dark blue colour as well and honestly they are so cheap on Sheen oh yeah these are from Sheen by the way guys I've finished with the TVU stuff but isn't that a lovely colour really lovely dark blue shade there I think he's going to love this one but they are so cheap on Sheen or TVU actually and I get them all the time and they last quite a long time so if you go to mobile phone shops these are about nine quid, which is just insane so I always get them off here now again I'm going to say it and I know you guys are going to hate me in the end but Christmas stocking filler ideas for teenagers absolutely perfect and really really cheap you could literally get these at like a pound each you could put like five in their stocking and it's only going to cost you a fiver so yeah i've got those um i've got these which i'm really excited to show you actually so 
we are planning on going on holiday this year so we have booked to go away to Haven in August so there's going to be quite a few of us going but we are also going to be going away for Jake's birthday which is a complete surprise so I don't want to say it too loudly just in case the kids can hear me they know nothing about it so we are going to be going for his 16th birthday so I'm really really excited so we're going to be going away twice this year which is really really good I'm so so excited so I thought I would get these wash bags for us to take on holiday so I've got us one each in different colours so we all know which is which and honestly they are so cheap and they are really good quality as well I was actually quite surprised at the quality of them nice and spacious as well if you guys can see you can actually get quite a lot of stuff in there and these are the small sizes you can actually get medium and large as well so like I say, I got us all one colour each. So I think Simon is going to have the black one. I have got Jake the really, really pretty light blue colour. And I love that it says wash bag on it as well. Actually, they're so perfect. Lovely little handle as well for you to carry them. So yeah, si has got the black one. Jake has got the light blue. I decided to give Jessica the pink one because she does love pink. So that's her one. And then... I got myself the white one. They're so lovely, aren't they? They're really, really nice. So we are going to love taking those on holiday. I can't wait to put all of our holiday bits in there. Um, oh, this as well. This is another kind of ornament thing that I got for my kitchen. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was, I'll be honest. I did think it would be a little bit bigger, but I still love it and I still think it's super, super cute. It's a little kind of coffee measuring cup and then inside you've got all the little measurements and then obviously it says coffee on the front it is like china so yeah it's quite easily breakable but isn't it cute really really cute i'm planning on doing like a coffee and tea station in my kitchen so that's why i've been kind of collecting all of these coffee and tea bits let me pop that in there actually so it's a lot safer but oh that's so cute i do love little bits like that to just kind of have around the house as decoration i also got some more wall vinyl stickers i can't actually remember what they are now i'm gonna to have to have a quick look oh i see i've just seen what it is now this is actually for my bedroom wall so it's spelled out let's stay in bed which i thought was so good that's gonna look so cute actually above the headboard oh yeah i remember ordering that now and again that was really really cheap as well i do love to put these vinyl lettering stuff around the walls because it just saves you putting like nails and screws and stuff in the wall with pictures because these just peel off very easily they don't rip the paint or anything and they're really really cheap and they look expensive as well when they are on the walls oh that's gonna look so good actually let's stay in bed i've completely forgot i even ordered that right what's this one? Oh yes this is the one for my kitchen so this one reads out the secret ingredient is love so this goes in your kitchen so i'm thinking i might put this above the cooker area on the tiles but i just think these little things just really add nice little touches to your house i do i love them so that's that one all right that's those okay um right that's that bag we've got two more bags to get through here i've got some clothing items as well Actually, I'm going to put this here. I'm going to get confused with what I have shown you and what I haven't. Right, so these we've shown. Right, so I ordered these bags. I have to say, I am a little bit disappointed with these bags, only on the size. I love the bags, but they are a little bit smaller than I anticipated. So I originally got these thinking that I was going to have these really big kind of bags to just pop all of the kids' um, new school bits in that I've been collecting. Because I thought instead of doing the basket, like a hamper, I thought I would do like a nice bag. Get a piece of string as well to make a nice bow. And I just love the black trimming on the bag. So I intended on putting all of their bits in, like pencil sharpeners, rulers, and then getting some black lettering and just putting their names on the bags and like I say I absolutely love them they're really really nice bags but they're just a little bit too small for what I need them for so what I'm going to have to do is go back on the website and see if they've got bigger sizes and just order the bigger ones but I'm going to keep these and use these for Jake's birthday so they won't get wasted 
because luckily I'm doing in the black and white um, filling for his birthday. So yeah, I've got a few clothes for that and I'll just order some bigger ones. Um, I got myself, actually, some new phone cases. Where are they so I can show them to you? Oh, I've got a happy birthday banner as well in the black colour. Again, really, really cheap and this is going to be used for Jake's birthday. I love these, I really really do love them. So this is the first one in a really nice beige colour and it says enjoy the little things. How cute is that? So cute and again so so cheap. Perfect for your kids stocking fillers for Christmas or like I say Easter bags as well even if you want to do different things in the Easter bag, especially for the older kids. Like, I feel like it's such a struggle trying to find little bits and pieces to put in like Easter bags, the older that they get. So these are absolutely ideal. So that's for me. And then I also got myself this one as well, which I really liked. It's black and white. It says, be real, not perfect. I love that. I do love a good slogan. So yeah, I'm gonna really love to use them on my phone. I might actually put one of them on my phone today, actually. I might use this white one. Let's put it back in the bag for now. Um, what are these black things? Oh, these are balloons, actually. This is a one and a six for Jake's birthday. Like I said, I'm sticking to the black and white theme. These were so cheap. These were under, I think these were even under 50p. These were really, really cheap, actually. I think they're around 30 something pence, which is just brilliant. Got myself these really cute hair bows. You actually get two of these. I've gone really into hair bows at the moment, which I probably shouldn't have done. I probably should have done these years ago, like when I was in my teens, but it's a bit weird that I've gone into these now when I'm nearly approaching 40, but there we go, I'm a bit late to the party. But yeah, I've really got into bows at the moment, but aren't they cute? Really, really cute. They're nice little thin ones as well. So I'm thinking when I've got my hair up in a little ponytail, just have a nice little bow kind of drape down there. Just makes it, makes you feel a little bit more dressy, doesn't it? But yeah. Love the colour of them as well. Jessica can borrow those as well. She might actually use one of them today, actually, um, to her disco. I've got this for Jessica. So she's going to use this today for her disco. So she's got a little handbag to just kind of hold across here just to put some change in in case she wants to buy a drink at the disco and to also hold her phone as well. Really, really cheap. I mean, it does look cheap, I have to say. You can see it is a cheap bag but it's okay for her do you know what I mean it's okay for her to put all her little bits and pieces in but yeah it's still quite nice got a little handle here as well so yeah she's gonna have that today and I'm going to show you guys her dress right so she originally had a navy blue dress which she had little white flowers on but I ordered her um a dress from here and she's tried it on and she really, really loves it so She's now going to wear this one, which I'm going to show you. I absolutely love it. I wish they had it for me. I really, really do. Wish I had the figure for it as well, because I tell you, it's bloody gorgeous. I love it. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? It's just so lovely. I have to say, it's probably one of the prettiest dresses I think I have ever seen. It is a little bit long, so it does go past her knees. So what we're going to do is just fold it up a little bit, just so it goes just above her knee. Obviously we don't want it to be a short dress, but it's just a little bit too long for her age. So we are gonna just fold it up a little bit. But look at the flowers. Aren't they the most prettiest color as well? I think it's lovely because most girls you see with floral stuff, it's always pink. So I think it's lovely to see a girl in blue. So I'm thinking that she could wear that and then even have one of the bows in her hair today, but we'll see, we'll see how she feels but isn't it lovely i will take a picture of her today once she is all dressed and then i will pop it up at the end of the video it's got this really nice sort of scrunched bit down the bottom side bit like a little tie string but it's just so so lovely really really cheap as well actually so yeah she's gonna wear that today so she'll keep that out of her handbag um, and then sticking with the blue flower theme because i'm just really into floral at the moment on the colour blue I got myself this really nice little t-shirt which again was really really cheap I think it was like three pounds something absolutely ridiculous but isn't it lovely really really love that 
Let's see up close. It's got nice little blue flowers on it. It's got nice little scalloped edges as well across here and all down there. Really, really cute. Scalloped little sleeves as well. You can wear this on the shoulder and there's also an option for you to just drape them off the shoulder as well. But it's really, really pretty. Really, really nice. Happy with that. I'm going to probably save that though for my summer holiday. Um, also got this as well. And I'll be honest, I have tried this on. First, I've actually tried it on twice. The first time I tried it on, really, really loved it. Second time I tried it on, I didn't love it so much. So I'm not actually sure if I'm gonna keep this because it's not really something I would wear normally, but it's just so pretty. Have a look at that. It's just so pretty. Look at the flowers, the detail of it. It's just lovely. And again, the color, so, so pretty. You've got the nice bit of string at the front. It is off the shoulder, so it is a dress. But it's a very long dress so it literally goes just above your ankle and then it has a little slit here and like I say first time I tried it on I thought oh it's really really lovely it's so pretty it's gonna be so nice to wear this in the spring if you go to the park or if you go for a picnic and then I don't know second time I tried it on I just didn't feel like it suited me really I don't know unless it's just because like I say I'm not really used to wearing long dresses so it might have just been because I'm not used to wearing it yeah, I don't know if I'm going to keep that yet. I might try it on more time and then just decide. But it's really pretty. Love the colour. And it's just, yeah, such a lovely pattern as well. Really, really pretty. So, yeah, that's that one. Can I just get that out of this bag? So, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that one yet, guys, to be honest. Um, This best top. I've got quite a few bits of clothes here as well. I should get through. This was really, really cheap. Under three quid. Can't really complain for under three pounds. Even cheaper than Primark. I love that it's got two straps on the sleeves. I think that's a nice little detail, just something different. And then it's got like the little hole bit. So it's kind of like a crochet sort of look, but it's lovely, lovely and simple. V-neck at the front, rounded at the back. But I thought, yeah, this would be lovely for the summertime. Put on with a nice pair of leggings and a nice pair of wedges. That'll look really, really nice actually. So yeah, that was super, super cheap. Also got myself this, which I love. I have tried this on already and I absolutely love it. So it is a shirt dress and this was under six quid, which I think was so good. So, so good. Look at that. I love the colour as well. I love khaki green. It's got the string there as well for you to just tie around. I mean, you can't really see it well there, but it's lovely. It's really, really is lovely. It's got buttons all the way down the bottom. But you could wear this as just a shirt if you wanted to. So all you have to do is undo all of the buttons, wear it as a nice long shirt, a pair of jeans and a nice tank top, and then you can wear it another day as your dress. So you have literally got two outfits there out of one. I'm just trying to like tie it up around the waist so you can see. It does give you a nice shape once you do have it on. It is really, really lovely. So that's that. And then I also got this, which I think I'm gonna to wear today for Jessica's disco because she liked it. I tried it on and she said, oh, it's really, really pretty. Wear that to my disco. So yeah, I'm gonna wear this today, which is a jumper dress. And again, I think this was around five pounds something, which is just insane. And I love it. I absolutely love it. I love the color. I'm really getting into jumper dresses at the moment. I've got one already, which I love. And then this is my second one that I've bought, but I really love it. I love the colors and I love the pattern. And what else I love as well is that you can see here at the waist, it goes in, which is really unusual because most jumper dresses are just straight. So you normally have to put a belt, but this is already kind of pinned in at the waist, which I think is really, really nice. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna be wearing today i will try and get a picture of me and jessica and then try and pop it up at the end of today's video i'll see how much time we have left this i really want to show you because this is absolutely stunning and this was under five quid which i cannot believe if i was to go in a clothing shop and see this i would probably think it was around 25 to 30 pound mark it's just absolutely stunning i want you guys to have a look at that look at the detail on this it's absolutely beautiful it's like mesh material which is really really nice and then you've got the nice little delicate flowers i love the color i love that they're blue that is the back of it so it's kind of ribbed so it is like a corset really and it's a little bit meshed at the back so it's just a little bit see-through but not 
too much but it's just so lovely i have tried this on and it looks really really lovely on guys it's so so pretty it does come in three other different shades so you get the blue you can also get light pink lilac or a yellowy orange color but it is just so so pretty lovely if you're going to a wedding you can put a nice skirt with it a christening or i even thought you know what how nice would this be for your bridesmaid if you were to put this on your bridesmaid and just buy a really lovely long flowy light blue skirt that would look so so pretty i've actually stained it i can see there because it wasn't stained when i tried it on i think i've got like makeup on it from my hands so i need to give that a little clean but isn't it lovely really really love that yeah so that's that um got myself a new headband in a light blue color just to kind of go with any of these tops that i wear really i haven't tried this one on it does look a bit small it looks like a kiddie one i have to say it does look a little bit small oh it's okay it's not too bad oh yeah that's not too bad it looked nice when i've got like a blue outfit on won't it so yeah that's that one for me and then also jess can borrow it's worth she wants to oh i've got this outfit for jessica which i'm actually going to stick away for christmas so i have now officially bought i think my very first christmas present in march saw this it was priced really really cheap and i thought oh she's gonna love this set so this is the top and i love the color as well what does it say on it los angeles so that's the top it's like a nice little tank top and then you get these little kind of casual shorts as well which also have the matching writing on the bottom so she's gonna love that set she really really is so yeah that's the set so i'm gonna stick that away for christmas i'm gonna start collecting little bits and bobs now and start sticking them away for christmas so yeah that's that um oh, this i got as well these hair clips which are going to go in jessica's christmas stockings how many is there four of these and these are priced really really cheap as well they're like little flowers aren't they lovely so you've got the neutral beige color black and then you've got the cream and then you've got the darker brown shade which is going to go really nicely actually with that outfit she didn't wear the black or the beige one so i thought oh these would be nice to just stick in her own um, christmas stockings so that's what i've got those for right that bag is empty and i've got one more bag here so let me just show you what's in this bag right so i have got oh this i want to show you this is for christmas guys look at this this is for my Christmas tree. This is for my Christmas tree. Oh, look at that. Side by side, miles apart. Family is always close at heart. And it's got the little red Christmas truck. So yeah, I've got that for my Christmas tree. It does come with the string for you to pop on there. Isn't that cute? Really, really love that. Sorry, I just kind of wrapped the candy there. So yeah, that's for Christmas. I'm gonna lose this, oh no. I need to find a safe place for it. That's a lovely old Christmas tree. Right, so that's that. And then lastly, I've got three t-shirts here and I've got these socks, which I'm gonna to explain to you. These are actually not for me. So I have done a giveaway over on my Instagram page. So if any of you guys have Instagram and you don't follow me over there, head over there now. Same name as here, just type in home with Mrs. K and you guys will find me. I'm currently on 16,000 followers so i've got these t-shirts for three of the girls who won my giveaway a while ago now actually and it says enjoy the little things which kind of matches my phone case isn't it lovely really really nice so they've got one of those each and then i thought i would just add a couple of bits with it as well so they're going to have a t-shirt each and then i've got a pack of these socks which come in a pack of three so they are going to get one of these each what do they say on it they say oh they say keep smiling look at that what they cute really really cute so you've got the black pair you've also got the brown pair i think they all say the same thing yep yeah, they all say the same thing so you've got the brown pair and then you have got the ivory cream pair so they're gonna have a t-shirt each a pair of socks each and then i did get them something else to go with it but i can't seem to find them actually i've got them a hair clip somewhere let me have a look in my other bag 
And I also got these to go with it as well. So I got them a nail varnish each in just a neutral kind of peachy colour. These were only a quid. And then I got a pack of three hair clips. So then I could just take one out and then they have got one each. So they have got a t-shirt, pair of socks, a hair clip and a nail varnish set for their um, giveaway that they won. So yeah, hopefully the girls will like them and then lastly the last thing i have are these trousers which sadly i do have to send back just because they are too big so i just need to get a smaller size i bought these to go with the t-shirt that i bought with the blue flowers they're nice trousers actually they're not too see-through really really nice and then they've got the tie string here for you to do a really nice bow at the front but as you can guys can see they're absolutely ginormous so I do need to send them back and get a smaller size because I do love them. I do love the colouring. Um, where did I just get them from this bag? Right, so that is all of my bits today that I had to show you. I have got another haul coming up next Friday, which will be showing you guys what I got my mum for Mother's Day. I've also got a mini home bargains haul. And then, like I mentioned earlier on, I have got two massive team you haul to do um which i'm so excited because i got some really really good bits for there i've got a lot of stuff for the kids for christmas so you will not want to miss my teamy videos so if you guys haven't subscribed already please do if you haven't also if you could give this video a like i would really really appreciate that because i've just found out recently that when you like a video that actually makes youtube show your video a lot more so i've recently just learned that so if you guys could give me a like on today's video i'd really really appreciate it I'm going to go and get ready. I'm going to take all this stuff away, pop some makeup on, get myself ready, do some lunch and then get ready for the disco. I will put on the put, I will put on the picture of me and Jessica if I can at the end of today's video. But that's it from me today. I hope you've loved seeing the bits that I showed you from Sheen. I've really loved showing you guys today and I will see you next week. Hope you're all okay. Keep safe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye guys. Mwah.